Shalom to all those who are watching me today morning in the Time Alone with God session. For those who are new, Time Alone with God is a must. Many a time what happens is we uh, revolve our spiritual life just by going to church on Sunday. But you should understand that as you continue in the word of God, continue in the fellowship with the word of God, the word of God will make you what it says. These are instructions for the whole world, anyone who believes. Jesus never started Christianity. He never started a religion. He said, thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. In heaven there is peace. In heaven there is joy. In heaven there is abundance. And that was the prayer he taught that let that same abundance, same life come on earth. And where on earth? Inside of us through the Holy Spirit. So your heaven and your life your life and your homes will be like heaven. In peace, in joy, and in abundance. So, every day morning before you get out of your home, after you wake up, the first thing you should do is to spend, of course, you might have your house prayers, you, should, you may have your family prayer, your Sunday service, but apart from that, a time of silence, a time of reading the word and interacting with God the Father through the help of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus and being lost in him, the deep speaking into the deep. It should become an intimacy that he can reveal himself he can reveal the mysteries of the world to you. It's not becoming religious. It is becoming spiritual. Jesus did not come to make you a religious person. He may came and showed the true spirituality for which you don't have to do anything. So today is July 3rd and uh, the verse for today's time alone with God is from the book of Isaiah chapter 54, chapter number 54 and verse 9. For this is like the waters of Noah to me. For I have so sworn that waters of Noah would no longer cover the earth. And I have sworn that I would not be angry with you, nor rebuke you. It is very important to understand why this is said so. The new covenant, where Jesus has established it with his own blood, he being our high priest, before God the Father, by his own blood, the new covenant is not between you and God the Father. It is between Jesus who represents us as the high priest and God the Father. So it will never break because Jesus himself is God. He is not weak. So this is the final and the strongest covenant. And that is why repentance plays a very big role today. Before the resurrection of Jesus, if you did not obey, curse would come upon you. Today, there is always chance to come back, just like the prodigal son, into the house and get restored with all the blessings. Now here, Isaiah chapter 54 
is after chapter number 53 and Isaiah 54 is showing you the effects what happened after Jesus died and rose up and here it says it was like the waters of noha to me we all know god instructed noha to build a boat and that boat he and his family and every species of animal why 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 do i say species there are some uh, people who say how can all the animals in the forest be brought into a boat of that size he did not bring all the animal the bible says one of its kind one species so if you say dog it comes from a fox so the fox was brought in. so every species one and his family and the floods went on and as a sign because god was fed up with the wicked world and so he it rained for 40 days and the flood came and filled the earth that none were saved all were lost except noah and his family and that is why uh, acts 17 says through one man all the descendants descendants on the earth came and we know the three major children of noah through which ham shem and jasapet through whom whole earth was populated now the covenant towards noah that is covenant between noah and god was one way if you look at the covenants made everywhere the covenant was made by a sacrifice or by a word of blood like abraham he had to put up the animals and the birds but here there is no more sacrifice there is no sacrifice but just a word to noah that i will not destroy the world like this anymore and then reflects to us that this is like god making a covenant you know the rainbow is a sign a covenant to noah that i will not destroy the whole world as i did in the times of noah now here he says this is the covenant today i have made with you and me i have sworn i have sworn that i will never be angry with you nor rebuke you here just like god had a covenant with noah one way he says the sacrifice is my son all the anger all the rebuke all the sin all the curse was upon my son and so i will not be angry with you or rebuke you anymore isaiah 54 is a wonderful chapter you will find two or three verses also i read do not fear you will not be ashamed neither be disgraced for you will not be put to shame roman says he who looks upon the lord will never be put to shame and then it says all your children shall be taught by the lord and great shall be peace upon your children all your children and i uh, i would like to here say that children you did not create it was a gift from god if god gives a gift he knows how to handle the gift also if you put your hand off sometimes uh, sometimes children become our idols leave them god will teach them and you will have great peace upon them and then it says in righteousness you shall be established this never happened in the old covenant they had to do works to become a righteous to become righteous for one year here you says you will be established in righteousness and 
you shall be far from oppression for you shall not fear and from terror for it shall not come near you the terror cannot come near you because god lives inside of you indeed they shall surely assemble but not because of me whoever assembles against you shall fall for your sake look you are so precious you are so powerful that you don't have to think in the flesh look he is standing no oh that is standing unfortunately the love of god which brings faith galatians 5 6 it love brings faith the revelation of god that he loves me is never being taught but on the contrary god will be angry with you god will rebuke you is being taught making people more the sense of condemnation their boldness goes away they feel so intimidated they feel they are good for nothing and god is god's anger is going to come my dear here is the word i will never be angry with you nor rebuke you he's a loving father and then it says the most powerful word no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that raises against you in judgment you shall condemn this is the heritage of the servants of the lord and their righteousness is from me that is why this single word is very important this is a new covenant that the righteousness is not earned by me it is a gift given to me by the death and resurrection of jesus by the fruit which is redemption sanctification and justification i have become the righteousness of god i have not only been born again as a child of god but i today have a right standing with god where i now can call god father abba and i can turn around to the devil and say so such a powerful position you have never be afraid of god but fear him fearing god and afraid of god is two things fear means a reverence towards god out of love afraid means he is angry with me he will rebuke me no he can't because you are in christ christ is in god and so you are also in him so be confident today as you go out for work be confident if god is with me who can be against me and the nations which are going to sleep sleep peacefully because as you sleep he is still working on every issue you are concerned about you will ask me how are you so sure this is my testimony i'm not talking about someone else's story this is my story as a businessman who got paralyzed in a road accident everything gone huge debts panic attacks depression but from there i came to know the savior jesus and believe me my life has changed some say i reach abundance and prosperity well i believe it and so i receive it because i believe there is no gospel which talks about lack and poverty gospel is the power of god that will change your life forever in riches honor and abundance while we hold on to eternal life let us pray father we pray in the name of jesus that everyone who is watching us let them be confident let the sense of every condemnation and fear get out of them knowing that god will never be angry with them neither rebuke them blessed be the name of jesus christ father i pray 
For all those who are sick in their bodies, by their stripes you are healed. In the name of Jesus, every, every tension, every depression, go out in Jesus' name. Every uh, migraines, in Jesus' name I command you, leave that person right now in the name of Jesus. I give you glory, I give you praise, Father. I pray for also those who are going through financial challenges. Let new doors and supernatural provisions open for them. I give you glory. I give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. So this was today, July 3rd, the time alone with God. Uh, uh, this is the time alone with God diary which I use. And... Uh, Again, I will tell you, don't uh, be satisfied to end your spiritual life by just attending a Sunday service. Live in the Word, be in the Word, and the Word will make you what it says. So God bless you. See you tomorrow again. Having a good fellowship in the time alone with God. Bless you.